Say you're going through the grocery store, late January, early February, and you're wondering, oh, it's probably about time to buy something to drink on St. Patrick's Day. And you find that black box from Guinness that contains not just Guinness, because you don't think you could quite drink 24 cans of Guinness by yourself, but it has a mix. It has three different beers. It has the Guinness Draft, it has the Hales Lager, and it has Smithwick's Red Ale. Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew, and to another red or amber ale. This is decidedly an Irish red ale, which is pretty much the same thing as an American red ale, except made in Ireland and using an Irish sensibility. Um, which is to say it has a wonderful lilting character to it. And I'll stop there because I can fake a lot of accents for three or four words and then it starts sounding weird. So I won't, you know, saddle you with that. But seriously, as a, as a normal person, or even a beer appreciator, recognizing that macro in Europe is not the same thing as macro in America, or even then there are just macro beers that are good. You see that multi-pack, that, that box of 12? Yeah, it's like 12 cans or something like that. And it has four each of the Smithwick's Red Ale, the uh, Guinness Draft, and the Hales Lager, and you know what? They're all three of them good beers, even the Hales Lager. Yes, I have drunk that. I think, think I have one can left. I'm not planning on doing a review on it. It's a good beer, you know? Drink it, buy it. It's a great way to enjoy a small little bit of authentic Ireland in your glass, whether it's on St. Patrick's Day or not. That's not green, you know, and all that stuff. Anyways, so Smithwick's is a red ale. Duh. Perhaps one of the first beers that I really, really, really liked um, and that my wife appreciated as well, though she didn't drink it so much. She found she really enjoyed cooking with it, and I really enjoyed her cooking with it, was Killian's Irish Red um, back probably 10... Yeah, 10 years ago or so. But I understand the Killian's Brewery uh, went out of business or something like that or sold. And that brand is either harder to find or you just can't find it anymore. Um, I think you can find O'Hara's now. I think O'Hara's is probably the closest thing. And I think O'Hara's might have been involved in maybe getting Killian's recipes. I don't know that. This is not O'Hara's or Killian's. This is Smithwick's. Uh, but it should be in the same family. In my experience... Irish beers tend to be drier, that is less sweet than their American counterparts. They also tend to be less heavily hopped. So those are the two characters, a pronounced maltiness, but not a sweet maltiness. So I'm expecting more nutty, more brown bread, more cracker than fruit or enriched breads and cakes kind of flavors or general hoppiness to it. Um, so let's uh, dive in and uh, see if reality has any semblance to expectation. And I am doing this right after I did my Rubens Brewing's Little Fox Red Ale review. And so there is going to be some inescapable comparison between them. And even that be, uh, review was definitely in context of having recently, about a week ago, done the amber, the Alaskan amber. Uh, the Alaskan amber, if you recall, if the video has been posted yet, is decidedly to the sweeter side of the American amber portfolio. Little Fox's red ale is not necessarily to the drier side, but it's simply drier than the Alaskan amber. And it also had some very interesting peach notes to it and a little bit of a roastiness and a nice, very delicate hoppiness to finish it off, round it out as just a really all around tasty beer. So Smithwick's, let's, uh, as, I'm, as I'm smelling it, the things I'm smelling, it, it does have a fruitiness, but I think it might be apple and blueberry, which is kind of interesting. Um, there's still a sweet maltiness to it. That the bread has always has some sugar to it. You, you have to put sugar in your bread in order for the yeast to have something to eat. So 
bread nearly always has some sort of sweetness to it. So that's within expectation. Overall, it smells, I think, uh, on the simple side, there's this, it's kind of a, a thin, like a brown bread with a hint of apples in the same room, I think is how I would describe that. There's some salt in that bread too. Yeah, yeah, brown bread and and apples. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's a fair a fair list of things. I'd imagine someone with a more practiced nose could pick up all sorts of additional nuance. But I've got the nose. I've got full of the things. It's full of <laughs> allergies. Am I right? Anyways, let's uh, see how it tastes. Yes. Yes, it is drier still than the Reuben's Little Fox. So if Amber, if Alaskan Amber is over here, Smithwick's is over here. Not bitter, not the not not to the bitter side, but to the dry side, to not being sweet. The breadiness is there. There's the slightest hint like the O de apple. There's an, not O, essence. What's O is water, right? So uh, essence of apple, not water of apple. <laughs> Don't misuse foreign words you don't know, Bedford. Um, so essence of apple, some breadiness, and and the lack of sweetness kind of keeps it simple. And there's also a little bit of that roastiness as well. But it's a real, I think it's it's far subtler, and it feels like it's coming along on the, the bottom of the draft rather than where with the, um, the Rubens little fox it was towards the the top of the mouth is where it felt the roastiness was it's also definitely a, a more astringent uh, uh roastiness i wouldn't go as far as to say it's ashy but it's in that direction the finish is more clearly apple and that's kind of interesting the more i think about apple the more it's present and it seems to be kind of this overall essence that pervades the drink as other things come and go and there is a um an acidity not an acidity a uh what's the word mint I think there's a mineral. No, no, I don't know if it's minerals. In with that roastiness, there's kind of a, a place two thirds of the way through the beer where it feels like uh, the, the minerality kind of builds really quickly and then fades into the finish. And I'm wondering if that is the nature of the hops that were used in this. It's definitely not the pine pine tree or juniper kind of hoppiness you expect from uh, from an American uh, version of this beer or from American hops in general. It's definitely to the earthier side of hops, and so I'm I'm guessing it's probably a European hop variety, and I'm guessing that is what is going on there. It's just kind of this this little bit of bite that cleans out, finishes the 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 breadiness of the beer and then you're left with that and then just this kind of waft of apple subtle apple that's that that finishes out the beer overall it's a it's a tasty beer it's a good beer i enjoy it uh, it would go nicely with with moderate things you know if you're thinking what's a stereotypical irish diet meat and potatoes right um, they're all about the potatoes and the good old Irish soda bread, right? I, I, I guess that's from Ireland. I don't know. But I'm, I'm thinking, you know, kind of standard Northwestern European fare. So meat and potatoes, simple fare, good fare, hearty fare, but not necessarily Indian spiced or uh, orientally spiced um, or even Spanish or, or African spiced or South American. You're looking... <laughs> You're looking at the at a gravy and a starch and a meat, right? 
<laughs> and and it seems like this is the beer that would go nicely with that, particularly because it lacks that sweetness. So it's not going to be at odds with the rich, savory nature of the food. But it does have that little bit of bite towards the finish that's just going to help be a palate cleanser and would work really nicely. Heck, having a, a big honk of a nice crusty bread would be really good with this beer. And maybe some nice mild cheese. I don't know what the what sort of cheese types are native Irish. Um, I presume they have them. Cheddar I know is English. I assume they make cheddar in Ireland, but cheddar is an English thing. So I would imagine whatever their cheese is, this would probably go very nicely with that. <laughs> It's a good beer. I like it. Good stuff. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I've been drinking and enjoying Smithwick's Irish Made Red Ale. It's a perfectly delicious and good Irish Red Ale. And I appreciate it for that. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.